welcome! Today I'll be taking some of my favorite desserts and turning them into characters. There will also be a bonus part at the end where I draw an illustration with all of them together, so make sure to stick around for that. The first dessert I've chosen is Hanami Dango, which is basically sweet rice dumpling skewers. They are called that because they are made to represent the order in which cherry blossoms bloom. So this dessert really inspired me because of how fun it looks. Like, it's not just a boring beige colored cake. It has fun shapes and colors and a cool meaning behind them. I very quickly knew that I wanted to replicate the dumplings with the character's hair, so I experimented with different ways to do that and ultimately I made them into those huge twin buns with a skewer coming out of one of them. And no, don't worry, it doesn't go all the way through. <laughs> I made all of her clothes round and bumpy, like the puffy coat, the skirt, or the leg warmers I kinda wish I owned. I also put some cherry blossom petals on her skirt and gave her a bag that looks like Dango. For colors, it's all pink, white and green, but I also added touches of brown, like for the skewer in her hair or her shoes, which I changed into some Mary Janes and put some cherry blossoms on. I made sure to make every lump shiny and while I kept the color scheme simple, I'm really happy with the result. I wanted this character to look very fun and bubbly, because that's the vibe I would get from Dango. And since Dango represents different phases of the life of a cherry blossom, I think the idea of making the most of life and the time we have left is something she feels strongly about. I imagine that she's a very active person, and one of her favorite sports is snowboarding. But if it comes to the sport, she would definitely say her favorite are snowball fights. Next are cut or basically the French equivalent to pancakes. And as your fellow croissant enjoyer, escargot connoisseur, and your avid fromage sniffer, I must say crepes are pretty fire. Even the store-bought giraffe brand ones were a delicacy when I was younger. So obviously to me, crepes are a dessert beloved by children especially, so that's why I decided to make the character younger. I started looking for ways to show the texture of the dough using fabric, and while a dressing gown would show that perfectly, I decided that it would make the overall design too boring for my liking. So instead, I kept the theme of sleep and drowsiness and came up with some cute pajamas for the character. I might be part of the vast minority, but I have to admit my favorite way to have crepe is plain, maybe some sugar if needed, but that doesn't mean I'm going to make this character plain as well. Far from it. To add some interest, I added chocolate drizzle over the clothes and added strawberries along the seams of the top and at the end of the hat. And I also put a little touch of cream on top of their slippers, Tinkerbell style. To refer to chocolate spread, I made their hair dark and flowy like melted Nutella dripping all over the place. The trousers are the same color as well, just not as drippy because I had a hard time drawing the slippers underneath them. I wasn't sure how to color in the top and the hat to make them resemble a crepe's texture, but I did my best without using any textured brushes because, well, I love using textured brushes, but I feel like sometimes using too many can make your art just look bad, so using one here would have probably been fine, but I wanted to practice drawing the pattern by hand for once. Also for the parts supposed to resemble chocolate, I added some shine in certain places and yeah, the whole drawing is all shades of brown and cream with touches of red from the strawberries. There's not much to say about this character because all they do is sleep and also they're still a kid, but I like to think that their favorite hobby is keeping a dream journal, writing about the adventures they get into when they sleep. Also, if you're wondering what gender they're supposed to be, well, they didn't get one, sorry. <laughs> the next dessert is apple pie. I think apple pies are pretty tasty, but the biggest reason why I love them is the aesthetic of them. I just find them really satisfying to make, and all the ways to braid and weave the dough covering them kind of makes me want to abandon everything and move onto a small island and just bake pies. <laughs> so I didn't have a clear idea of what I wanted to do at first, and experimented with the classic grid pattern of an apple pie, and made a cape inspired by it. Then I tried making a hat using it, and it looked weirdly familiar, and then it clicked. A crown is what it looked like. So I made the hat into a crown, matched the rest of the outfit to the theme of royalty, and I got myself the apple pie king. I gave him a scepter and added apple details a bit everywhere. I also gave him a braid because I wanted to link to the braided dough around the top of an apple pie. You might think an apple pie is a pretty common dessert, but he certainly isn't a commoner. 
I drew the sketches thinking that later I'll make some parts of his design red because of the apple element, but then I thought that since in apple pies the apples are peeled and the filling is more yellow, it actually wouldn't really make sense. So in the end, I used the zero red. Only shades of yellow and orange, and whatever you call the color of the dough. <laughs> Well, actually, when I say yellow, I guess I mean gold. Since he's royalty, I thought it would make sense for his crown and scepter to be golden. I'm really pleased with how his cape turned out. It was quite meticulous, but definitely worth it. I was pretty scared going into his design, because while I knew I wanted to make him a fancy boy, I also knew that men's fashion is not my expertise. And after finding a bunch of references and trying things out, I'm really impressed with how well I did. So obviously, this character is a young king. Does that mean that the rest of the characters are part of his court? Maybe. Either way, he's definitely pretty famous to all of them. Whether that's in a good or a bad way, I'm not sure. Does his status make him arrogant or feel like he's above others? Or is he a reasonable and kind king? Let me know what you think. Bum, bum, bum. Next is Strawberry Shortcake. And yeah, I'm going to do my best to avoid referencing the iconic character design of the cartoon. To me, strawberry shortcakes have a lot of aesthetic appeal to them as well. Especially because they make me think of those picnic or afternoon tea photos from Pinterest and cottagecore in general. So I'm pretty excited about this one because I have a vision, okay? <laughs> I had a pretty clear idea for her silhouette. So first of all, I gave her an upside down strawberry hat and swirly hair to resemble cream. Then I gave her an oversized shirt with super long sleeves and a pleated skirt. I couldn't fight my urge to draw more leg warmers, so she got some cute leg warmers with bows on the sides. As a reference to the different layers of a strawberry shortcake, I added lots of stripes, like for her shirt and her tights, but I also decided to make the soles of her platform shoes layered as well. Because of the cottagecore vibes of this cake, I thought lace would fit perfectly with her, so I put some lace on the edges of her skirt and shirt. For colors, I went with very soft and creamy shades. I made her freckles white to look like powdered sugar, but I don't think it's that obvious in the end. I actually think I like this character's outfit the most, but at the same time I feel like the design itself isn't that strong. I don't know. Either way, she definitely turned out super cute. So because of how cutesy and impractical her outfit is, I thought she'd be someone creative rather than practical. I decided that she is really into sewing and especially making plushies, so I drew her looking at some fabrics and sewing a bunny plushie. And that bunny plushie is probably going to be a gift for crepe, come to think of it. And the last dessert I've chosen is the cinnamon roll. I love cinnamon rolls. I think this one was the hardest one to figure out. All I knew was that I needed to add swirls wherever I could. And after choosing to go with a newspaper boy aesthetic, I got more ideas. The overall outfit is still quite simple, but I think the design is pretty cute. I gave them swirly hair, high socks with a cinnamon roll pattern, and a cinnamon roll hat. I also made a little side sketch to illustrate how I imagine it looks normally versus when it is worn. The middle part of the roll is like slightly pushed out while the rest hangs down when it is put on head. I made a quick animation to show it because I'm not sure my explanation is clear and I also just really wanted to. <laughs> I also gave them a messenger bag where they would normally carry newspapers, but instead of newspapers it's cinnamon rolls and because using a bag is extremely unhygienic and gross, I made the bag a crate with a cinnamon stick strap. I used a very simple palette, in fact it's almost monochrome, it's all shades referring to the dough, the cinnamon or the icing. With this one I feel sort of opposite to how I felt with strawberry shortcake. With this one except for her hat, I find her outfit very underwhelming, but at the same time it works. Especially since this character is quite active, and if this was a design for an animated series or something, it'd be easier to animate. So if it isn't obvious, this sneaky little character sells cinnamon rolls as a drop. Only issue is they're not really allowed to do that without a permit, and they're way too lazy for paperwork, so they often get in trouble with the local authorities. Which is why I drew them running away, but they never learned their lesson. They have plans to build a cinnamon roll empire after all. They wouldn't let some laws get in the way. There is one last step to this and it is making one final illustration including all of the characters you just met. So let's get into it! The concept of this illustration is that King Apple Pie has invited all of his friends over for afternoon tea. Chaos ensues. 
This whole illustration was a struggle. First of all, I made a sketch with all of the characters together at a table outside, surrounded by desserts and just being a handful. The reason I drew all of the different characters and elements on top of each other all weird is that for some reason I decided to make this illustration immersive. Like sort of 3D, but not really. You'll understand what I mean once you see it, I swear. But yeah, there were points where I really wanted to redo the whole thing and just make it a simple illustration. But for some reason, finding a different composition was even harder than just sticking to my first idea. So I powered through and in the end, I'm really happy I did. Obviously, the final result isn't perfect, there are some parts of it that look a little bit odd, but overall, I still think it looks really cool. Well, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video, because I sure enjoyed working on it, so if you want more of this kind of turning random stuff into cute characters videos, let me know. By the way, I wanted to thank you guys so much for over 1.5k. I was super excited to see all of your super kind comments on my last video, so I really hope I can keep it up and give you guys even more videos to enjoy in the future. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and supporting me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!